Glad to have you with us today. And today we're going to talk about how about how HR40 um, is pretty much a big nothing burger. So this is a bill that was introduced um, by Sheila Jackson of Texas. She's a Democrat, and she's from Texas. And this was a bill that was created by her to do study on reparation. Now you're good. Now I know you guys have been here and talks about HR40. I've been here about HR40 the past. Um, three um we're about almost about two years now okay i know everything about that bill okay now what i'm trying to put in focus to let y'all know to not be fooled by these democrat shields especially my black community now what you're going to hear about now because of what happened in louisiana and what's going on around the country that the black community want reparations they want to end the uh, qualified meal and a bunch of other stuff and reparations been talked about for a long long time so now they're trying to tell us, like, we got H.R. 40 on the thing, uh, uh, H.R. 40. So what H.R. 40 literally is just a bill studying about the reparation fact. But the problem is, here's the problem. You pass a COVID-19 hate bill that's designed to pr federally protect Asian and Pan-Pacific um, Americans, um, um, making that a hate crime, okay? And you pass that within two months. It was signed, it was started in the Senate, passed in the Senate, went to the House, and signed by the President. And what I'm going to show you guys, um, I'm going to show you guys the actual bill in a post that I posted about almost a year ago when I was arguing with this Democrat shield on a thread, and I how I debunk how the Democrats don't care about black people. They're going to use H.R. 40 as a, um, as you could say, a carrot to put in front of the black community to go ahead and vote and say, well, we're going to get reparation, but first we need study. I'm sorry, you didn't need a study for, for that bill, for them to be protected. You didn't do a study for Ukraine. You didn't do a study for money going to Israel. So why you got to get a study for um, reparation for the black community? I don't get it, but we're going to debunk it. So let's go ahead and change screens for a second. Now, what you're seeing now on the screen is my Twitter post from November I think this is from November 9th, 2022. So this shield right here, she puts, it started, um, we start talking about reparation, but right here, she said, here's a direct choice proving that Democrats are the only one who want reparation. Not one single um, Republican member voted for reparation. We're aware that Republicans are not gonna vote for uh, reparation. We know that. The problem is, is that we are the biggest voting bloc. You should have passed that bill. Y'all were in majority at the time. Okay, here's the thing. Um, right here, see. So right here, I put right here. If you can see on the screen, so I compared to both bills. There's a COVID nineteen hate bill and the H and the HR forty bill, right? So I said, LL, that bill's been stuck in committee for the past year. Yeah, nothing but another time to help get the black people to vote Democrat, and yet the Asians get a hate crime bill with lightning speed within three months. Nice try, sister. I already debunked that. The Dems are not for black people. That's what I said. And I've got receipts, right? Let's look at the first screenshot. This is HR 40, right? You see that the bill was introduced on April 14, um, 2021, right? Right? All right. Let's look at the bill, right? It was introduced on the 4th of 2024 and then only to be voted, ordered to be reported or amended by the committee of the ju 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 uh, Judiciary Committee, right? Look. It's been stuck right there, 414. Now let's go to the COVID-19 bill, Senate Bill 937, right? It's a law, right? It was introduced, um, it was introduced on um, by a Democrat. See, it was introduced by a Democrat, Democrat Senator Rich of K from Hawaii. It was introduced, it was introduced by her, right? She created this COVID-19 crime bill, right? She's Hawaiian. She's pin at pin um, because uh, she's considered pin Asian. But anyway, look how fast that bill became law. It started in, it started on March the 23rd, 2021, and became, and you saw on the previous school, it became law on, on March, I'm sorry, not March, that's May 20th, 2021, signed by the president. Okay? You see, folks? You see it? You see it? Right? Right? You see that. Lightning speed, right? And just for clear text, Let's go to the bill right now and see what the current status. Well, would you look at that? It's the same status. Nothing's changed, right? Since 2021, this is the latest action right here by the House. Order to be reported. That's it. This it. 
And remember, this is 2021. It is 2023. It is October 23rd of this record, 2023. Okay. It's almost it's over. It's a little bit over two years now, and it's still sitting in the same thing. But yet they're going to use this HR 40 commission to study the reparate proposal for African American Act. They're going to use this to put the care in front of you to go and vote Democrat. Don't fall for it. Because what I would ask these shields if they bring that up, I said, yeah, but you had another Democrat from Hawaii that got the bill to pass through both both um, houses of Congress, through the Senate and through the House, and signed by the President in less than two months. I don't want to hear nothing about Republican. And you can see right here what the shields does. She said it's been stuck because the GOP refused to vote in it, but you helped prove a point that the Asia bill was passed in a week. Um, and the reparation because the secret Republican. No, 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 no. See, that's shillery tactic 101. Blame the Republican. Nah, you guys were in majority at the time. You guys could have passed something. Or you could have probably said, oh, well, you know, we're trying to pass it, but it wasn't for that. Because here's the thing. The Democrat Party, including Raphael Warnick, my, my senator from Georgia, voted yes on the COVID-19 hate bill. He voted yes for it. I didn't hear him say anything about, well, what's, what, why can't we add the black community to it why can we i didn't hear any talk about that no 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 it's not gonna work the whole democrat party voted yes for that and now they want to come and dangle the ticket for don't fall for it i just gave you all the receipts so so much shield and i'm gonna show you again this is the bill and if you don't believe me what the bill said look this is the first chapter of the bill right from the covid 19 hate bill congress falls and falls the, the spread of 20 the spread of covid has been a dramatic increase in hate crime and violence against Asian American and Pacific Islander. And my correction, she was a Pacific Islander, um, that Congresswoman. Uh, do you see that? That's just the first paragraph. I don't see anything about the black community or black. It's putting statistics about the age. You can read it for yourself. So, I like I said, I have nothing against other girls. I'm just putting a contrast when these Democrats come to the black community and say to vote for them, um, talk about reparation, but their federally um, reparation and trying to dangle this HR 40 bill nonsense in front of us to vote. Well, we're trying to do a study. You didn't do a study for COVID-19. You didn't do a study for Ukraine. You didn't do a study for Israel. You didn't do a study for all these other bad. You didn't do a study for the migrants that y'all openly gave, gave money to. They're not taxpayers. Don't come to me with this. And, and other black people who are listening, don't don't quote. You can even show them this video to, to kill these Democrat shields. Do not fall for them. Do not. It says right here. I don't see anything that says anything about the black community in here. All this is about the anti-Asian. All this stuff. And black, black community has been fighting for ages to get federally, get a bill that's specifically for the black community as well. Because they hate crime. But we can't get it. And, these are, and this is the part that we vote for. It's right here. Anti-Asian discrimination. Because... That happened on March 19, 2020. And you remember that, what happened in Atlanta and all that stuff, what, they, what that white guy did and all that stuff. And that's what sparked the bill. That Senator Bernard, also a Democrat. And remember, let's talk about Pacific groups, right? Remember I said the black community is the biggest voting bloc of the Democrat Party, right? The Asians, the whites, the Arabs, the Hispanic, they don't even come close to what the Demo what the, the black vote is it's the biggest biggest part if the black vote just left and it was up to them they're not even active vote you wouldn't they wouldn't win an election but this small group of people were able to get a federal crime bill within two months just like that that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying these democrat shields are going to try to fool you that's all they talked about now roland martin all these other people they're going to be talking about hr 40 but you show them you say well the bill has a gun in it for two years but yet you had a federally um b bill that was passed within two months signed by the president and that president was joe biden which actively the black community voted for overwhelmingly in order to for him to get prepped because he wouldn't be president for without the black vote do you see what i'm saying here do not for fall for these tactics do not fall for these tactics I have nothing against other groups. I'm just I'm just throwing out the um, the contrast between our groups and others and how the Democrat Party treats us. They're not even the biggest voting bloc for the Democrat Party. The black community is. We are. And yet we get nothing. This is a nothing burger. Do not fall for HR 40. And they talk about HR 40. You tell them, well, okay, tell me about the bill. You tell them that the other bill was passed within two months and the bill still sitting to this day, still sitting in the committee. What's going on? right 
And if they were really sick, they'll go ahead and pass something right now, try to get it through. But you're not going to hear talks like that. That's why they're asking you. They're saying, vote Democrat. Let's the next round. Let's get these um, Democrats in the Senate and the House to overpower and get the majority. And we'll talk about reparation. But no, no, no. You should have passed reparation back in 2010. 2008, 2010, when Barack Obama and Democrats had majority, they should have passed reparation then. And now y'all want to do a study, but you didn't do a study for the migrants and other groups? Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't fall for it, folks. Don't fall for it. This is a big nothing bird. Don't fall for it.